We're alive. Gold Rush. Chapter 9 El Chupacabra Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Whalen. Previously on We're Alive, Gold Rush. Why, why isn't it starting? No, 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 no. Run! When did you install the cutoffs, Gloria? You went to the surface on your own and bad things happened. They don't know that there are other options, that there's other places they can go. Uh, no, what's, what's the colony, Carl? Was that home? Uh, pass? So, Carl really told Gloria about the colony? He said it slipped. Moment of weakness. What an idiot. Not really. Carl was a smart guy. Maybe too smart. He just cracked under the pressure. If Carl wouldn't have messed things up, would you have stayed? Hey, just like the movie sets, it was all just a facade. Facade? Yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, things were not good between us at this point. Things were just falling apart. Robbins, Carl, get back here now. Why the hell should I? Forget it, Puck. I'm done here. Then I'll pull rank. Now get in here, both of you. You serious? What the hell does your pay grade mean anymore? You want to find out? No, Corporal. Get in here, whatever room this is. No, well, I'm an E4, too. Well, we still have some access, you see? Sir, you mind stepping in here? <sighs> it's always something. But I was not expecting a Lego room. Whoa, thank you. All right, I, I didn't know what was in here. Just sit down, let's sort this shit out. It's obvious we need to get the hell out of here. Of course, right after you go screwing it all up, now you just want to leave. Typical. When in Lego room. I can't talk to this guy anymore. The lady is crazy. This is gonna turn into one of those crazy mommy fun houses of horrors. Watch. She's crazy because you're being restricted? We're all being punished because of you. How can you not see that? Hey, hey, would you both back down, please? Yeah, sit down in your Lego chairs, guys. Ooh, who's this? Lego Dumbledore? You want to leave, then leave. Fine, miss out on your share, because I'm going back for this stuff. Whatever, I don't care. Good, more for us. Hey, can we just step back for a minute and rethink this? Of course, Puck wants to stay and get his dick wet. Hey, you watch your mouth, all right? I'm trying to help. You do not talk about her that way. Whoa, seriously? Oh, dang, falling hard, dude. Sounds like a man who wants to stay. Oh, God, don't tell me you want to stay, too. I don't know. I'm not done thinking about it. How can you not see she's obviously unstable? You still think she intentionally sabotaged your joyride. Which, by the way, you stupidly did to get your dick wet. Oh, damn, we got you there, man. Well, I trust Rhonda over you. She practically runs this place. Look, I don't know. Anita says otherwise. And also, it's not Rhonda's first big conflict with Gloria either. Look, I went outside because this place just keeps getting smaller. We aren't meant to live underground all the time. It's not healthy. There are more and more reasons why we need to go pack up, get the stuff, and go home. Maybe I am home. Wow. Puck? I don't, I don't know. I... I don't think I can leave without Anita. Told you. Greg, are you coming? I don't know, man. I, I think I want to stay here for a little bit longer. You know, just to finish what I'm building. But yeah, I'll be down to packing a few. So, I'll see you then. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad one of you is thinking clearly. Rhonda's as paranoid as he is. Maybe he shouldn't be underground if he can't handle it. I mean, you don't really think that Gloria stranded them out there, do you? It doesn't make any sense why she would. Exactly. I admit, at first, I didn't believe your mom. But she wouldn't quit. So stubborn. Remind you of someone? 
Wait, so Robbins wants you to leave? <laughs> the grass is always greener on the other and side. it's literal grass. It's not like everything else in this room that is just fake. Listen, Anthony promises that the colony is nice, and there's already a lot of other people there. Do you have any idea where you're really going? And you believe them? Yeah. Yeah, I do. More than I believe Gloria. She wouldn't do that to you, I told you. <laughs> I guess without any proof, there is no reasoning with you. Wait, wait, so, so that's it? You're just gonna leave and not say goodbye? No, of course not. I... I'm not gonna leave without you. So, I'm just gonna go find my proof. Alright, this isn't gonna be anything like the weapons room, is it? No, no, no. All you have to do is point the flashlight. Check. Okay, now this one's it. So just pull off this panel, please. Whoa, excuse me. That's two things. I already have the flashlight. Whatever. It's one more thing. The panel is too heavy. I can't move it. Oh. So you need some man muscles. Yes, if you have any. <clears throat> Step aside, miss. I got this. Got it. You impressed? Huh? Oh, Jesus! Woo, impressive. Okay. No, no, no. That thing was huge. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna beg to differ. Oh. Here, I'll trade you. Take my bag. I need the light where I'm going. Oh, my God. Where does that go? To the maintenance room. And this is just another way in when you don't have the key code. Well, it's spooky as shit. Be safe. Is it, is it safe? Are you all right? Huh? Hello? Did you just, Rhonda? Oh shit, what happened? Rhonda, Rhonda! Wow, this what? is fun. Uh, Gone three seconds and you're literally freaking out. You know, I was worried about you and oh. your well-being. You thought the rat was coming back? No, you're right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's go inside. So what is this? This is the MySQL server. It should have the raw database with the command log somewhere in here. Oh, please. She thinks she can lock me out. You trying to impress me or something? Oh, something. Ah, okay, here it is. What's this uh, small box? Cutoff switch. I took it from one of the cars. Told you, can't lock me out. Oh, dang. So, uh, do you need me to do anything, or? No, 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 no. Only needed you for those two things. Hey, I'm good now if you want to go. Stick around just in case you need any more manly things done. You know, lifting heavy stuff. Yeah. Plus, you're about to find out if she did this, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Okay, if I can just find out how these two systems are talking... Actually, I may not have even needed the cutoff switch. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's what I was thinking too, you know? So, yeah. Oh, access denied, please. Oh, come on, like I don't know your password, Gloria. Damn. Do not mess with Rhonda. I have access to your logs. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Access the terminal inside her bedroom. How dare you? 
And there's enough time here after her login she could have seen us on the surveillance or... Ungrateful little... Where do you think you're going? Somehow she knew where we were. Rhonda, why do you have to always make things so difficult? There was a special command she entered next, and that seemed to do the trick. You are not leaving. Oh, uh, coming? Oh, she was clever. She removed the fields from the database, but she forgot that they continuously compress and back up. There's a digital trail. It could be the proof that we need. Okay, so if we just extract it and decrypt and... Booyah, bitches! I was right. Hey! Don't shake the table. Are you referring to us? Do you need to use that word? No, I didn't mean, like, you You were a bitch. No, I would never call you a bitch. Right. Uh, out loud. And, and, and I was more talking about the plural of Carl. Look it. Read it and weep. Is this even English? It's all in code. Yeah, what is this? Oh, Carl, you can't read it? You're supposed to be the brains of the operation. No one knows what this means. Can you just tell us all It's a log. That shows a very specific shutdown command being sent from Gloria's terminal in her room at the exact time our engine died. This proves that she killed it remotely and then lied about it. What she said. Are you sure? Yes, Anita. She even tried to delete the record and I still found it. Can't mess with the girl who built your system. Well, does that change things for you all now? Hey, would you stop playing with the Legos and join us over here, all right? For one minute, please. I can pay attention and build at the same time. Give me a break. I'm going through some serious withdrawals here, man. Anita, what are you thinking? You're positive it was Gloria. No one else could have done this. Only one other person was in the room, and that was Muldoon. Like I'd know how to do any of that. <laughs> exactly. What are our options? Seems pretty clear to me. GTFO. Anita? I don't know if I feel safe here anymore. Well, there you have it. I just can't help but feel awful for Gloria. Don't. She wants to own everything in her world. Well, that's not gonna be us. Why are all the super hot ones batshit crazy? Never at first, though. So we're all on board. Carl? Look, man. I know we have our shit, okay? But, but this is serious. We watch each other's backs. And I've always got yours. Fuck it. Let's go home. The colony, right? It's cool. You'll like it. Lots of outdoors. And indoors, too. You can't forget that. Ah, uh, shut up, Muldoon. It's not without risk, though. Wait, we're gonna get the truck, though, right? Of course. Wait, you had a truck? Yeah, that's why we came this way. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. First, we gotta get out of here, okay? The truck comes later. Obviously, Gloria doesn't want us to leave. She's gonna try to stop us. Again. Do all the cars have cutoffs or kill switches? Yeah, I, I don't think we can take any vehicle. She could have been alerted when we took the buggy out. Lojack. What about the horses? We just need to get to your truck, right? Not too far? Mm-mm. Not a chance. Well, there's just enough for all of us to ride one, and those can't be tracked. Eh, still no. You think you can get the truck running? The truck broke down? Then why head out to it at all? Robbins, play the video. Show them what's in it. Why can't you just tell me? Well, because you won't believe us. It'll just take a second to get to the spot. Uh, but seriously, no horses. Sounds like it's the equestrian option. Or you're walking. Okay, no matter what we choose, we're still gonna need to buy some more time here. Gloria can shut down the elevator to the surface. Hell, she could trap us in practically any room if she wanted to. But uh, can't you do the same? Not while we're trying to leave. You seeing all this? Found the spot. Rows and rows. Look, we took one of the what? bars out of the bindings. Is that this real? Where the hell did you get all that? Long story short, we found some people that stole it, they gave it to us as they were dying. We came here to take it home. What good would all that gold be? Carl, 
Gold will always hold value because it's a rare metal, so even after all of this, it could still be worth a huge amount. It's enough to start a small country. So, going with you guys isn't even gonna be a step down. Gold digger. We should really go back to using stuff, you know, instead of gold. This is all us. All right, this no is the damage. Down. No wonder they needed such a big ass truck. And the truck can't be fixed. And no here's the underside. Tore out part of the drivetrain. Oh shit, yeah. They ran over something. The rest looks great, but it's probably easier to move it to a new uh, truck. No, no, no. Back it up a little bit. Yeah. Hold it right, right there. Ah, so the drivetrain buckled. Oh, yeah, the drivetrain. I can probably fix that. I just need a replacement coupler and my arc welder. Mm, is that all? Well, yeah, for a share of the stuff. And my sister, too. What? What? It only seems fair. You didn't even know about it two minutes ago. Well, now I do. And can anyone else fix that thing? Hell of a lot easier than transferring all of that to a new 16-wheeler. What do we do with the horses? We can't just let them loose, right? Oh, that's so sweet. No, it, it'll be okay. They're all trained to go back to the barn. If anything, they'll love getting out for a while. And the others will most likely follow Wiley back home. And they'll be fine on the surface? They won't get eaten? I asked the same thing. They can hold their own. And it's not like they can get infected. So that takes care of everything. You all seem to keep forgetting that Gloria will still stop us on the way out. Let's just lock her in a room and take away her computer. Do you really think that you can force Gloria Anderson to do anything here? By computer or in person? Carl's right. She has master access to everything, and she'd kick your ass three ways to Sunday. Are you sure she'd stop us? We can't tell her? Uh, she's made it pretty clear the conditions of leaving. So if we have any chance of making it out there, we're going to need supplies. That means we have to somehow get her out of the way. What if we gave her something that would knock her out? We're not gonna poison her, man. That's ridiculous. This is so wrong. No, 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 not like that. I was thinking along the lines of uh, natural. Something like El Chupacabra. No way, really? Wait, the what? You think you can still make it? Anita, you can cook, right? What the hell is Chupacabra? It's this edible that Greg made in college. What's an edible? Ah, uh, it's weed. You eat it. You infuse the THC into butter and oil, making them super concentrated. So you cook it into something and feed it to her. So how is this not poison? I'll tell her what's in it. I'll just be honest. She likes getting fucked up. Is that going to work? It actually might. But she smokes a ton. Are you sure this will have any effect? Never underestimate the power of the green goat sucker. El Chupacabra would couch lock Snoop Dogg. Gloria, she's going down. To sleep. Most likely to sleep. She'll just, she'll be fine. Just immobile for a bit. And this is the only way. You two know her a hell of a lot better than we do. And I'm sorry if we did this. Don't be. This was a long time coming. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't know that there were other options outside of this place. You're right. I'm sorry, Gloria. We'll be back after a brief word from our sponsors. Where do you think you're going? Stay tuned after the credits for a preview of the next episode of Gold Rush. And now, on with the show. I can't believe we used all of it. Well, you told me to get a whole plant's worth of flowers, so I did. Are you still dizzy? Yeah, a little bit. An entire indica plant in one bar. Are you sure that's not too much? The cayenne pepper and dark chocolate covers it up pretty well. It's a little dank, but it should do the trick. Everything's packed. Oh, jeez. You gave me a heart attack. I thought you might be Gloria. No, she is still in her study. Probably will be for the rest of the evening. Everyone else is good to go? That didn't take long. I've been making a list in my head for a while in case we needed to bail. So, pretty easy. What about you? Is it ready? Time.
Come in. Um, hi, Gloria. Do you have a minute? For you, darling, of course. Oh, there's two of you. <sighs> I, uh, brought you something. For me? What's that smell? Now, don't be mad. Why? What did you do? He needed my help. Just to get the flowers from the green room. To make this. Well, that's the smelliest thing ever. Yeah, and I got dizzy just making it. This is El Chupacabra. It's a very special, very potent, legendary creature. I was hoping maybe you could find it in your future potentially incapacitated heart to let me back into the green paradise? Anita helped you, did she? Oh, I... Um, I had to. I, I'm the only one with access to the greenery, so... Yeah? Was this all the sneaking around? Well, then I must say, it was worth it. <laughs> wow, we that smells amazing. Right? <laughs> okay, here, here, sit, 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 while it's still warm. Me? Yeah, well, I mean, I know Anita's not gonna have any. <laughs> okay, okay. You were about to play violin. I didn't know you could play. Yeah. You wanna hear something? Yeah, I'd love to. Here, Anita, can you take this back to the kitchen? I was just going to head back to the kitchen to clean up. So, you've been playing long? Since I was a girl, my mother wanted to channel my gifts. Oh, God. You try it yet? No, but it's not my first. It looks like thick. You want to split it? Oh, high roller. Yeah, we'll both have half. Oh, you're crazy, man, yes? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Mm, I missed that. Yep. Totally crazy. Will you stop messing with that horse? I swear I'm not. I'm only standing here. Why do you hate me? Well, for one, don't yell at them. Hey, maybe your mom worked at a glue factory or something. You know? They know. They know. See? They know. Hey, this is pretty fun. Who's a good pony? This is my first time. Yeah! Oh, my ass hurts after five minutes. We have a long ways to go still, too. Might have to camp out overnight. Sis! Where's Muldoon? Did everything go okay? Everything went fine. He'll catch up with us. Take his horse? Yeah. All right, come on, this way. Walk your horses till we get outside. You still have access? Oh, please. She could never remove it. My grandma used to love when I played this one. Good Lord, do I miss her. Wiley, come on. Keep moving to the elevator. Take the carrot. Come on. He's a good boy. Come on, follow, follow. All right, we're in. Hit it. <laughs> wow, you're really good. <laughs> well, jinxed it, thanks. No, 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 keep playing. I love it. Top side is clear. But just in case, I brought something extra. You took Saddam's gun? Gold? Dang. You cold. Back pay for all the maintenance I did in this place. There were other guns. Enough to take that one. What are you... Oh, no, no. Oh, not now. Oh. You had to go while we're in here? You must be rubbing off on him. Oh, God. That smells out. There's nowhere to go. Oh, not bad on my side. Oh, no, not you too. <laughs> oh, uh, 
Excuse me. Come on, get there, get there. All right, just keep holding your breath. It's so bad. Hold on, we gotta wait for Muldoon. Sorry, the horse just wanted to run. I know, poor things. Tie the rest of the horses to the barn for now. We need to wait here. Oh. Oh, damn, that was strong. You need some chocolate milk? There's some almond milk in the kitchen, but that's a long way. Don't worry about it, I'll go get it. Oh, the world's vignetting. yet. Just hold on. A little longer. <sighs> Till we go back and get him? Just give him Muldoon a few more minutes. You don't think she caught on, do you? Not out of the question. I can go back. There he is! What's wrong with him? Greg! No, how much did you eat? It's too much go. Wiley. Put him on Wiley. She'll know how to carry Muldoon. You got the map, right? Yeah, I have it. We gotta head off grid where Gloria can't monitor. When she wakes up. She's out, right? Uh-huh. We, we split. You ate half of it, you dumb bastard? This is gonna suck. Here, mount up. We have a good ride ahead of us, so drink plenty of water. I'll keep an eye on Muldoon. Wiley will respond to me best. So what's this beast's name? That's Demon. No. Mm -hmm. Really? That's what Gloria named him, since he's the biggest horse. And because of his temperament. Uh, does anyone want to switch? Um, no offense, but no other horse can handle you for that long. Nice. Real nice. I told you all horses were a bad idea. Easy, demon. Easy. Easy. Muldoon, are you gonna live? Ah. That means he'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Well, what are we all waiting around for? Are we gonna go or what? To the gold? Finally. Go. Ooh, arriba, arriba. <laughs> to the gold. To the gold. Yeah. Goodbye, Gloria. Tune in next week for the exciting conclusion of We're Alive, Gold Rush. Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Whalen. Starring Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira, Austin Trace, Christy Carlson Romano, Brenna Otts, Aaron Breen, and me, I'm Michael Swan. Produced by Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira, associate producers Shanti Ryle, Lauren Kroon, Blair Wayland. Casting by David Seiden, Vanessa Knight, Original music by Danny Burkhoff Hopkins. Gloria's violin was played by Eileen Kim. Supervising sound designer, Casey Whalen. Sound designers, Michael Keane, Ryan Lincoln. For more info about the show and a complete list of cast and crew, visit us at www.we'realive.com. We'd like to thank the entire team at Podcast One. As the leading podcast network, they have made it possible to bring this series to life for you. And they have more than 200 of today's best podcasts easily accessible on the free Podcast One app. This has been a Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Dedicated to Grandmother Carol. In the next chapter of We're Alive, rocks all around us. 
We won't even be able to see the horses from the outside. Dibs on first watch. Ah, Dibs on second watch. Oh, oh, it's just me. Hey, what are you throwing up? I couldn't sleep. It is gorgeous out here. Hey, I'm glad we left. Oh, yeah? We were surviving. Come on, come on, come on. Not living. You heard it. All hands, move! We are done! God damn, she's driving on the shoulder. No. Not now! You weren't kidding.